those who know me know I like cruising, and I go at least once a year on a cruise. And I always wondered what those antennas are. Well, I didn't really wonder because some of them I knew, some I didn't. And I've been meaning to do a video on this for a while. My last cruise I took was in the Mediterranean, and I decided to go around and get some footage and do some more research. And this is what I found. This will be kind of a shorter video as I'm not going to go into technical details, more of a curiosity if you're on a cruise ship like I was. Please note this video is actually not sponsored by Princess Cruises, I just happen to cruise with them a lot. And that's why I happen to be on the Sun Princess uh, going from Rome, Italy to Athens, Greece for a week and one of the sea days was a perfect day to make this recording. If you ever looked around on a cruise ship, you'll notice there are these big white uh, golf ball or the volleyball looking things all over the deck, depending on what sport you're into. And in any case, these are called radomes, basically a word that they put together, I'm guessing, from radio and dome. And these generally are hiding radar equipment or satellite. They are white because they reflect heat better and you don't want the equipment in here overheating. And also note that these are not metal. Some are kind of like a plastic or possibly fiberglass in nature. These also keep water out, obviously, or ice, although that's not usually a problem on cruise ships. Uh, though I have seen it in uh, Alaska and uh, South America cruises. But generally speaking, in the tropics, you're more worried about water and being watertight. These allow the ship to track satellites if applicable or the radar in this case would be underneath one of these domes. However, on the Sun Princess, it appears that the radar equipment is actually above the bridge. And obviously, since these ships are on water, the equipment here has the ability to adjust for rough waves and uh, directional changes to keep tracking satellites and so on, which is very important when you are not on a stable surface such as land. And here we are looking at the highest point of the ship, which I believe is 17 or 18 floors, um, no floor 13. Uh, and there are some floors for the crew that are below that. So in reality, it's probably over 20 floors. And here you see the uh, radar equipment as well as VHF equipment moving next to one of these radomes, as well as a weather station, it appears, and cameras. And it does appear there are multiple smaller and larger radomes here. Uh, I'm guessing the uh, VHF equipment is on the right side here with this really large antenna. And this would be operating on the marine band, which is a little bit shorter distance communications, although it would surprise you. And as you can see, the connector is already getting rust. Being in a salty environment is not much fun for ships, which is why you always see the crew painting. And this is the view on the other side of the ship. And it looks like this ship has redundant equipment, meaning more than one antennas serving the same purpose, which I think is rather important for a cruise liner. I did notice this little weather station that kind of reminded me of the one I have at home. And on my South America cruise, I even noticed a NOAA QFH receiving antenna. You can see it on the bottom of your screen. And uh, here's a little close up. Personal side note, if you ever get a chance to go to a South America cruise, definitely go. I highly recommend it. It was one of my favorites. And all the footage here is, by the way, from my own camera from different cruises. The Sun Princess appears to have really fast internet. And I was told by some of the crew that it is Starlink. And Starlink antennas are usually shaped like a pizza box. So my guess is this is a Starlink antenna serving the ship. And this trio of small antennas uh, mounted on top of those poles, I'm going to take an educated guess and say those are GPS antennas. Since they do appear to be the same style of antenna that I've purchased on eBay at one point for my GPS DO project, and it is rather important to have redundancy with the GPS. If you think I'm wrong though, please leave a comment below. 
although I'm 99.9% .9 sure that is a set of three GPS antennas. Here's a quick note before I go. I am running a raffle, which you can access on w6aer.com slash giveaway. And this raffle is currently giving away an audiobook, and uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, so it's a two-month cycle. Eventually, what I want to do is do regular raffles once a month for various things, and mostly digital products, but also some actual physical items. So check back often. Again, w6ar.com slash giveaway, and uh, you can enter um, multiple times. Additionally, if you want to support this channel, please visit amazon.com slash shop slash maximum rf i will leave the link below as well anytime you purchase from here it helps support this channel and as well as the website actually also feel free to visit any of our other affiliates and sponsors it'd be really appreciated well i hope you enjoyed this overview and if you'd like me to do a more technical one at some point maybe on my next cruise in a few months let me know and I'll be happy to do a more detailed video. In the meantime, please check out one of these other videos from my channel.